Alright, so, Mael is just amazing. He's so good, and I'm gonna take him into global PvP. We are gonna do ungeared PvP, even though I actually have made two gear sets for him. One attack crit, as well as one HP defense set. Just for sort of trying out what's best for him, as well as, like, just to have a set for, say, knighthood boss battle, if I wanna take Mael there. Or something like the final bosses and stuff like that. Oh, a defense team with Nanashi in the front. Maybe I should like focus down the Nanashi because he is going to be a menace. An absolute, like, I don't even know. He, he, he just needs to die here. This is a bot though, unfortunately. It's a little bit boring to go up against the bot as the first match, but man, as you can see, the crits there are really, really good. We're getting some extra crit damage from the Sariel passive. Or like each battlefield buff, he buffs it by, I can't remember how much, was it 8%? Stacking up to 40 or something like that. Alright, but now we're straight up against a Naofumi team and this could still go either way, like depending on how much or how little damage I actually do to his Naofumi. I might as well just try to go for like a Sariel, um, what's it called, Sariel ultimate here? I think that would be, that would be my best bet actually sort of beat this so we just go like that and i guess we just merge we will have a two turn taunt so sorrel will benefit from the quell damage so 50 percent additional damage per stance on self and uh, we don't have any more mile cards unfortunately but we can buff up with the silver buff and then ult i guess because i don't want to apply too many buffs to now for me and perhaps i should even wait ah uh, wait i can't wait because if i wait an additional turn the Quell damage won't be active. Alright, so he did get his ult there, but we are gonna do this, and then we'll see what he does. Like, is he gonna kill Sariel? He is type disadvantage against Sariel, though, but depending on his ult level, like, like now for me, hits hard. Almost died. That's crazy. Alright, we did get one lair card here. So he's just waiting, just biding his time. Uh... Oh, maybe I should go for my ult as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. I'm not gonna attack him because I don't want to give him more. Uh, what's it called? More stacks of these things. He's going for Luda Margaret. Uh, will she be able to survive? Yeah, she did. Now we do have a silver buff here. So we can reapply it. It's gonna give us like an additional 45% increase to our damage. Mile himself already has 20% uh, from his grace. He's also gonna get, is it? No, that's just damage reduction, right? But I think this is gonna deal a lot of damage. And then we'll just see. We'll deal some damage with Luda Margaret there as well. And disable now for his cards for, was it one or two turns? Oh, wow. Oh my god, dude. His healing is crazy. Yeah. So hopefully we can get some actual players. Oh, this is an interesting team, I have to say. I think this is a player, because 220k CC, there's no way a bot would have that, right? So I think we're just gonna go for the gopher. He's gonna be a massive pain in the ass, and that's why he brought the gopher there. Yeah, this is a player. So I was about to say, like, if it's not a player, that means that in champs 1 I was playing yesterday. I'm, like, never facing any players in champs 1. So I have to, like, de-rank to champs 2 constantly. Really annoying, but... Uh, so we got rid of the gopher. The Yan can be a pain in the ass. Meliodas could potentially, like, rush ult and stuff like that as well, which could totally screw us. Um, he could, of course, go for my Mael ult. Uh, he could also remove it with the Yan by, like, moving cards next turn. So, yeah, he's, like, moving, emerging. He's gonna go for a silver AoE attack, it seems. Let's just see how much damage this does, because we do have a lot of, like, damage reduction. Oh, that's not too bad. I have to say, that's not too bad. Yeah, I will go for a Sariel Silver card here, and... Oh, per but I feel like I should maybe, like, go for one of their ults. Nah, I can't go for an ult and not have a taunt up. Oh, this sucks. He's gonna get his melee ult, though. Yeah, I have to do some... Some chip damage. I have to taunt up. And then decrease their crit chance. Melee will cleanse though, like he could easily cleanse and then get his ult off. Depending on what sort of moves he makes next turn, this could be very annoying. And his ult will of course kill us, like depending on the ult level. We are gonna have another one of these uh, buffs up, but we only have like one of these cards, which... It, it, it's kind of unfortunate, but... 
it is what it is. Like, of course he's gonna rush ult with melee. Like, that's his only, uh, like, victory condition. At least sorry will be able to, like, heal back a bit. He's debuffing us. So he got his melee ult. Uh, that means he has to, like, attack with melee first and then ult with him. I don't know. I'll just do this. And we'll see. Like, there's no way I can survive the ult. Not if he attacks first and then ults. That, that, like, that is just not happening. Because he's gonna get the 50% attack related stat buff and that's gonna wreck me. <laughs> right, he's gonna taunt up or he's gonna remove the ult. But melee will cleanse all the crit chance reduction and stuff like that. Not that that would matter though. Honestly, Sorrel's like, debuff can only stack up to 5 times and melee is going to get more than that, so... Ooh, he still hit quite hard. Oh my god, the Archangel team. Oh my god. <laughs> that is absolutely nuts, dude. Completely and utterly bonkers. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Sorial attack first, then we'll do that, and we'll go for melee. But that is just crazy. Like, I'm gonna hope that... Uh, oh yeah, Dian's gonna die. Oh, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is no way we survived. Like, our basic stats are through the roof. Like, us surviving there completely dependent on that Melis ult, though. But I'd like to feel like the Archangel's team has such high stat that it don't, like it didn't matter. I think I'm gonna go for the Chandler. Chandler can be quite annoying. Uh, he does have Tarmil Grace on melee, though. That could also be very annoying. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Chandler, and we'll do one of those. So there's just two attacks. I'm not gonna taunt up. I'm not gonna bother with that. But at least his annoying Chandler is gonna die. He can, like, disable our Margaret. He can taunt up, of course. Heal back so much with that uh, Holy Relic. So that's what we're doing. All right, two more single target cards. We can easily kill the melee, most likely, even with like Harmon Grace. He's of course gonna heal back the full, and uh, depending on like who he attacks here. Sorry. I'll... I mean, that's fine. Oh, this is a bot, isn't it? I wasn't paying attention, honestly. Nah, that's a bot. That's a bot. Alright, we'll, we'll just kill the bot. That's totally fine. Uh, we'll do this and that. That melee should be dead. The Esterosa is kind of annoying though. Not gonna lie. Maybe he won't die. Oh yeah, he did. But the Esterosa is annoying because when we buff and we attack, we just lose a buff. But here we will be able to get our ult off. That's gonna be nice. Uh, no buffs, but I don't think that's gonna matter. I think the ult is gonna do a lot of damage. I'll do one of these <laughs> just in case, it, it, like, just apply another one of these sunspots. Just increase my damage by 5%, you know. That's a lot of damage. Not really. Not, it's like nothing. <laughs> but still, I want to see some numbers. Against two enemies. 4 or 5k. That's not the... Not the biggest numbers. <laughs> oh man, I just got him 1-6. Ooh, an attack seal team, but this is most likely a bot, like they've all been. Yeah, that's a bot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm just gonna de-rank to, to champs 2, and I'm just facing bots in champs 1. That Like, it's so annoying. Ooh, another mile. 207k CC, that is most likely a bot, because that's a CC you can easily get, like, without... Well, easily, I say, but with these two units in the front, and not having Sariel, that's a player. That is an actual player. Holy hell, okay, okay, we're killing that Margaret. We're gonna try to kill that Margaret. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was a bot. Like, a million percent I thought it was a bot. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's good. He did get a merger though, and that is the single target card. That's gonna hit hard. Honestly, that's gonna hit hard. He had a Nash in the back. That's good. It's a good thing I, I went first. But then he's not running CC food, is he? Or maybe he is. Maybe he's like just low box CC or something. Because uh, Nanashi doesn't really have the, the greatest CC there either. Oh, that's a silver card. We eat that. 
and an AoE. A silver AoE even. Oh, he, he went hard. He even got his ult, uh, ult level. So 6-6, six, six. We're, we're getting completely ass blasted here. Like, totally, completely ass blasted. Well then, I can just reduce his crit chance, I guess. Like, buff up to cleanse one of those things so he doesn't do an additional, like, 50% damage. And then just cleanse, but he's still gonna do whatever the damage the 6-6 six, six does. Plus he's gonna apply three of those things the sunspots and he's gonna do 150% additional damage like there's no way we can survive maybe if i had a gold buff or something to increase our basic stat even more but dude the margaret is is a goner i think my is goner yeah wow all right well good game dude that's that's what you get for wailing right holy hell Alright, so I'm gonna try Nanashi in the back. I think that's gonna increase my survivability by a lot. And we'll just see. Like, I probably have to, like, keep losing matches until I get down to champs too, in order to face, like, players and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna quit out and... We'll try out Nanashi. 215k CC. This is a player. So, I quit a bunch of bot matches and I'm down in champs too right now. So, hmm. I think we might even kill the Meliodas here. I think we might be, because I do have a silver card here. Should I just bank on it? But yeah, as you can see, I also have Nanashi in the back, so I don't have Bans. Uh, attack related stat increase. Yeah, but I do have, like, Nanashi survivability. It's gonna increase my crit chance, or crit defense, as well as, like, regular defense, I think. So, and resistance, or whatever it does. It's. It's crit defense. Is it resistance? Because one of them is just straight up defense related stats. And the one is like defense and crit defense or something like that. I can't remember. It's, it's like increasing our survivability by a lot anyway. So it's going for Diana ult. That could hurt a lot. Especially if she's 6-6. Six, six. Um, oh, she just lost her... She just lost her ultimate. I'm sorry. I am 1-6, of course. But I do kind of want to look at my stats. But she is... She's 5-6. She's still going to hit a lot with her quell damage. I have 14k attack. That's not the best. Uh, not going to lie. I could go for his ult. Unless, of course, he has another card with Diana, which he might. So we'll just see. But if he attacks my male, he's, of course, going to lose his ult. So... We'll see, maybe he attacks and then, then taunts up. Maybe that's something he does. If not, I'm just gonna have a 1-6 ult against the 40% damage reduction from the ant's taunt. And we do have Gopher there, who is most likely gonna die. And then we'll see. So it's not... Oh, I patienced. <laughs> My L patienced it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alright, so... I don't know if, if like taunting up with Sariel is the greatest idea. I'm just gonna do this. Actually, I'll attack once, and then a second time, in case the ult kills the end so Soriel doesn't get disabled. Yeah, but this is basically just to decrease their crit chance, crit damage. Can't, of course, decrease Eskinor's stats, but that didn't matter. Alright. That hit quite hard, 500k. And he did have the 40% damage reduction up as well. I'm honestly surprised by that. That's very nice for a 1-6 ultimate in ungeared. Ah, oh, well, good game, dude. I think I'll have to D-rank again to champs too. We'll do one more match with Nanashi as well, so... Alright, another Archangel team with Tarmil in the front. 191k CC could be a bot. Uh, I did just rank up to champs 1, of course, from that match. So I will have to D-rank again. Yeah, I'll have to D-rank again. That's a shame. Alright, so we're back down in champs 2 after having gone up to champs 1. Turn of 10k CC, this is most likely a player. I'm gonna bet my life savings on that this is a player. Let's go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I get to keep my life savings. Woohoo! Not for long, though. I actually bought a 4090 a graphics card. An RTX 4090, so... <laughs> That cost me a lot, and I'm gonna buy the rest of the components to build a brand new PC for myself. Because yeah, my graphics card, for some reason, whenever I'm playing graphically intensive games, it just stops getting power. I thought it might have been the power supply. I thought it might have been the motherboard. Unfortunately, it was my graphics card, which was a 3080 Ti. I will have to return it uh, to get it fixed. It's probably gonna take a few weeks to get it fixed or whatever, however long it takes. Uh, and for that duration, I won't have a PC, so I actually have to buy a new PC, and then I'm probably gonna just sell that pc so when i actually do get it back and yeah so here i can actually go for ludo margaret's ultimate if i want to 
I can also go for Miles Ultimate. It is a mild video. I'm just gonna taunt up with Sariel and we'll see what sort of cards we can draw here. We do have one ult, so we can prevent them from like be being able to use their skills. Well, whatever. Alright, so that was the mild PvP video. He's a very, very good unit in PvP. Actually very fun. Like the stats you can get with the Archangel's team, the stats he gets alone, the damage he deals, like he's such a beast. And he's actually quite fun in PvE content as well. I might actually make a PvE video, uh, or video in PvE content actually using Mile. So if you do want to see that, make sure you subscribe for that. But yeah, that was the PvP video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.